All right, good morning, everyone here at a cool Mother Teresa School. Wonderful day is upon us. All right, and uh, we are going to get this week started together in prayer. So as is always the case, I'm going to ask you to stand, face your prayer centers, and do what you got to do to be ready to join in. All right, let's begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Today is, uh, or this week is World Catholic, or is Catholic Education Week. So our prayers are going to be um, on that theme of Catholic education. So God created humankind in his image. In the image of God, he created them. Male and female, he created them. Genesis chapter 1, verse 27. Each year, Catholic schools in Canada participate in a week-long celebration to remember and share the gift of Catholic education. This year, we are all called to embrace the theme walking together in Catholic education. We begin our celebrations in schools this week by focusing on what it means to be a Catholic school by promoting the five marks of a Catholic school. The gift of publicly funded Catholic education in Alberta is a true blessing. As a community, we are called in gratitude, faith, and action to ensure that our schools and future generations continue to learn and grow in our Catholic schools. In our Catholic schools, we believe that all members of our school communities are sons and daughters of God and we seek him in our lives. By God's design, we reflect his own mysterious and wondrous nature. Understanding how we are made in God's image helps us to see the basis for human dignity and the purpose of our life and work. Dear God, we are privileged to be created in your image and set apart from the rest of creation. You have made us like you from the beginning. We live life to the fullest, whether at work or rest, whether in the world or at home, when we imitate you, we receive your grace to do all things that show forth your glory. Help us live this day so your image may be visible through us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. All right. Uh, yeah, like I said, Catholic Education Week. Part of that is going to be on Thursday. We're going to ask everyone to wear blue to show off that school spirit and recognize uh, Catholic World Catholic Education Day, okay? So that's uh, school, show off that school spirit by wearing some blue on Thursday. Also on Thursday, it's going to be anything but a backpack day, all right? So this Thursday is anything but a backpack day. Have some fun and think of creative ways that you can transport your school supplies. Make sure that whatever it is that you bring allows us to maintain safe hallways and classrooms, though, okay? For example, a shopping cart would be too large to have in classrooms and hallways, so... Uh, yep, be creative, but also remember we need to be safe and somewhat practical. Uh, kindness Crusaders, if all Kindness Crusaders um, in grade 6 to 9, helping out with grade 4 transition today, please meet Mr. Reinhardt's room at 1145. And grade 4, oh, Our Lady of the Rosary students are visiting our school in the afternoon, all right, to help them feel more comfortable with their transition and joining us next year. Please welcome them if you happen to see them. Also, tonight there will be we will be hosting a parent information night from 6 to 6.45. Grade 4 to 5 and grade 5 to 6 transitions, uh, that's for those students. All right. A um, couple other things. Francophone games were held over the weekend. A uh, few people to recognize, although we had several students participating. Uh, Nick Crooks, he got a silver in badminton. Congratulations, Nick, on your efforts there. And then we also had Maria and Julie, who sang the anthem at closing. So... Well represent, uh, our school is well represented at the Francophone Games, and we're proud of what you guys have accomplished. Good stuff. Um, we have PATs starting today, actually, all right? Sorry for the reminder as Nick throws his head back. Um, we just want to wish every, all our test writers the best of luck. Do your best um, in, in everything moving forward, and it'll all be just fine. So best of luck, everyone, writing those tests. And I have down here a little sad face for the Oilers and hockey fans that were hoping that Canadian last Canadian team would be able to get it done. Unfortunately, not the case. But uh, as Mr. Zebart and I discussed earlier, life will go on. Okay, um, with that, we will bring Nick in for birthday celebrations. Good morning, everybody. Hope you have a good Monday. Um, today, uh, for May, we have Avery Kabili. I hope I said that right. In 6 2. 
And we also have Hudson Kennedy in 7-1 on July. So happy birthday to you too. And uh, we'll be back for more birthdays tomorrow. Good stuff. Thanks yet again, Nick, for leading our birthday celebration. All right, everyone, signing off. We'll Canada will play shortly. Make it a great day.